Today on the podcast, we're going to continue our conversation with David Kingsbury. We're going to discuss daily habits, not only for David being successful himself, but how to be successful with other big-time successful people. We'll also talk visualization, inspiration, in this case for Muhammad Ali, and we'll even get David's tips for creating and sustaining energy. I got a lot out of it, and I know you will too, right here on the Peak Performers Podcast. Welcome to this edition of Peak Peak Performers Performers Podcast Podcast. with your host, Thor Conklin. Thor will be sharing the necessary tools, strategies, and psychology you'll need to become a peak performer in any area of your life or business. What are some of your important daily habits? So, I mean, you know, one of one of my most important daily habits is my exercise. So that is, you know, I I exercise almost every single day, whether that be weight training, um, uh, some cardio. I'll go for like a power walk or or walks at the weekend or out on my bike, those kind of things. And for me, that is one of the most important times of of my day to to clear my thoughts and to really focus for the day Um, without that, without that, you know, movement and that activity, I I feel you know, I can't perform at the same level and my mind isn't working at the same level. So for me, that's kind of my, that's my energy booster. It's my meditation. It's all of those things wrapped up into one. And that's my absolute time that I just couldn't do without. If you had an hour to interview someone dead or alive, who would it be and what would you ask him or her? Yeah, no, I I think um, for me, I would love to interview uh, Muhammad Ali for an hour. Um, I think, you know, from my background in, in training and sports and fitness, I would, I would love to kind of get an understanding of, 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 of every aspect of, of the training and, and, and all those things that he did. But I also just think it would be a fascinating discussion to talk about, you know, all the hardships and, 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 and also just his journey from, from where he started all the way through to the, to the icon that he became. And, and um, I just think it would be an absolutely brilliant opportunity to – to, to talk to him you know even if it was an interview even if it was just me having a chat just for just for my set just for myself i think that would be a really amazing amazing thing what do you think some of his uh, secrets were i think i mean i think his 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 biggest sort of secret if you can call it is his confidence really i think that for for for, the, for that kind of sport confidence is so important because if you have any doubt in yourself if you have any doubt in your ability um, then it's going to get found out really quickly when you're in the, in the ring. And I think kind of actually understanding where that confidence come from, comes from, how, that's in, how he's instilled that in himself would be one of, one of the sort of really interesting um, questions that you could ask him and, and, and just find out how, you know, perhaps you could use similar techniques and how, or how, you know, how I could or anyone could use similar techniques to instill that level of confidence within themselves. You know, you're touching on something really interesting here because as soon as you started to say confidence, I immediately went back to identity. And I think he was so yeah. congruent with that identity that he formed. I mean, he literally created that. And through yeah. that identity, I think that's where that confidence came from. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I mean, you know, I think that with with a lot of that, you can you can he probably was an act in some ways and you know it, it, certainly at the beginning it may have been it may have been an act but if you yeah if you act if you act that out for long enough then sure enough i, I bet it becomes you know it becomes instilled and you becomes the, the way that you know the way you really think are you truly living your potential are you getting the results that you need want and desire there was a time in my life where i was not and i needed answers For the last 16 years, I've been obsessed with the question of why some people achieve massive results and others do not. And I found out that it comes down to one thing, execution and the ability to take your ideas and plans and dreams and turn them into reality. That led me to the question, what are peak performers doing that others are not doing? How do they think? How do they act? What is behind the science of execution? I have now uncovered the secrets to the science of execution, and I want to share them with you. I have an intensive three-day event called the Business Execution Summit. If you are truly committed to taking your game to the next level and mastering the science of execution, the most important skill that you will ever acquire, simply take your phone and text the word BE Summit, one word, to 41411, and I'll send you out some additional information on our upcoming event. Have any of the actors or actresses that you've worked with, have they given you any tips on how to get into character? 
I mean, so on one on one of the films, I was uh, I was on Les Mis. Actually, we were he had a quite a big emotional and like powerful scene, and um, he he kind of he put some like heavy metal on and 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 got into it got into the zone in in that way. So a lot of the times they will uh, listen to music and things like that to get into into focus. Um, <clears throat> also, I mean, it's something that I've sort of. Um, I've seen I've seen with a lot of the people you know, a lot of people I've, I've worked with and also I've experienced this myself as well. So when you really do need to focus and you've got an emotional scene or a hard scene, then you you need time to yourself. So I, I've got you know I think I've got quite a good understanding of of, of of people's needs in that sense. So if if I'm working with someone and I see that they're kind of kind of shutting off a little bit and they're they're wanting that space and to to really get in the zone, then I'll you know I'll, I'll leave them to uh, I'll, I'll disappear until until they're done and. I had the same thing when I was kind of training for and competing in the, in the boxing to get into that zone. I just wanted, I didn't want anyone to say a word to me. You just wanted to sit and, 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 and just focus and, and, and concentrate in that sense. So I've never, I've never been given advice um, by them as such, but I've, I've certainly seen it um, happen. And, 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 and really that they, they use it just, you know, they're really focused on things with their mind. They might listen to, you know, the, to music to pump them up or get them into the zone. And, um, yeah, it's it, you know it's really interesting to see you know how how different people can either switch it on or switch and switch it off so they can just instantly become the character or whether it is something where they have to be, be kind of coming to work in that mood that day and they stay in that mood the whole day or whether they can just switch on and off because some some of the actors can switch on and off and others will stay in that zone for long long periods of time. Interesting. So they'll actually leave the studio and go home and they'll still keep that character uh, going. Yeah, 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 and and you know they might have it going for a little bit of time. I mean, whether whether they when they get home they you know they kind of come out character or whatever, but they they might have it for the whole day, even if that's only one scene, or even if they've you know even if they've only got a short period of time where they've actually got to be in that in that zone. Yeah, you know, really interesting. I'm going to play with this uh, tonight. Literally, when we hang up, <laughs> no, I, 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 because you're tapping into something that we all know, right? And that is, you know, assume the character assume the identity of who you want to become you know goals are all about not what we achieve but who we become in the process and absolutely i'm going to be leaving this interview and i'm actually going to it's a great it's it's a really cool i'm addicted to this thing i I really i need an intervention from my fitness uh routine and what this is it's really cool it's 60 minutes and it's 60 stations and you just go all out for a minute on one thing. So you might be doing push-ups for a minute or, or bench press for a minute or lunges for a minute, whatever it is, or pushing a sled yeah. weights on. And it's to this you know, crazy music just going crazy. There's 60 people. Uh, there's generally about 10 guys and 50 women. And yeah. it's just like, I just I just love it. And yeah. at the end of the day, though, sometimes it can be really draining, right? You, you've had a hard day. You work all day. Mm. And I can always get myself to go because I enjoy it. But what I'm going to do tonight, I'm really interested to see what happens here, is really step into the body of, you know, a Muay Thai boxer or a a professional sprinter or a football player. You know, embody or or channel someone else and and see how that how it changes and how it energizes my uh, my workout. Because just talking about it, I can I can feel it. No, absolutely. No, I mean, that's you know, it's with. psychologists working with sports people it's, it's a huge part of the visualization is, is is that side of things so you know visualizing yourself prior to something essentially dominating it and or or, or um you know or, or or you know succeeding in it but i really think there's something in actually becoming you know having a character for that as well right so if you, you know you have a character that is unstoppable in the gym then when you when you when you arrive at the gym then you're going to be training a huge, you know, huge amount more intensity and with much more success than if, if you're going as your, as your tired self and you've had yeah. a hard day at work. Yeah. Well, uh, D- David, in honor of you, and you don't have to put out any sort of uh, restraining order, I'm going to watch one of your videos and I'm going to go, I'm going to work out like, <laughs> yeah. like you today. Yeah. The results may not be the, exactly brilliant. the same, but I, I'm, I'm going to channel you through my workout tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. No, I'm telling you, your, your videos, if you're listening to this broadcast, go check out David's interview. His, he'll give you his website address here shortly, but check him out. He is the real deal. Let's talk about energy just for a second as we're on this uh, topic. Any other techniques, tricks, tips, uh, strategies on 
creating energy. One of the things that a buddy of mine recently gave me was, he said, look, you're eating a lot better. You're not eating the processed foods. You're eating clean. He goes, you got to add some salt back into your life. I'm like, why do I want to add salt? He goes, wait till you see what it does to your energy. And sure enough, a little bit of salt on my food, it's like, bam. It's like, what yeah. is this stuff? Yeah, no, I mean, so salt, salt's, salt's kind of got a, a bad reputation. And having too much of it is obviously an issue. But if you're highly active and you're, you know, you're training a lot you're, and you're sweating a lot, then you lose a lot of salts naturally. And by increasing your salt intake, it's actually it's, it's going to be really, really beneficial for your energy levels, for your recovery, for your muscle condition, and 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 your, even sort of your muscle contractions and, and your performance. Um, so uh, you know, adding salt, so you know, not just the sodiums, but potassiums and all, all the all the you know the the ver- you know all the salt, all the kind of various salts. Adding those in is going is is really beneficial for performance, especially if you're highly active and, and you, you you often you know you're drinking a lot of fluids essentially um uh, the sort of pink himalayan salts they're, they're yep, really good for, that's what i have for that yep. yeah because they've got they've got kind of a, a breakdown of, of 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 a selection so you're getting more than more than just kind of sodium that you would get from classic ta- table salts so i mean that's that's a that's a really kind of nice um nice nice addition um to that what the, I mean, the, the main the main ones um, that I see with in, in people are hy- hydration. Um, so, tr- you know, people that you know, off, if they don't drink enough water, their energy levels are really, really going to suffer. Um, I mean, sleep goes without saying, right? A lot, you know, so many people do not get enough sleep. So, like ninety nine percent of the world's population, we need about eight hours sleep. So that is the kind of area to focus on. I know that's not necessarily. <laughs> possible every day but if you can aim for those eight hours and then that is ideal for energy levels um, obviously like i said staying hydrated is, is, is very important um, also balancing your blood sugar levels just so not you know, not having too many simple sugars where you're going to see a spike in your blood sugar levels because then when that drops back down again that's when you get that sugar crash and you you, you know you're burnt out that's when you kind of feel like you're going to pass out because you're so tired and you reach for that second sugar snack, which yeah. then brings you back up, and you're in that en- you're in that endless cycle yep. every you know all day long yep. essentially. So, m- you know, m- managing um, your blood sugar levels is is really really important for consistent energy throughout the day. So to do that, having lower carbohydrate or at least steady release carbohydrates throughout the day instead of sugar, simple sugars, is is really really important for energy. Um, and then uh, probably lastly, I'll just get, you know caffeine. So. I rely on caffeine. Everyone I know relies on caffeine, basically. But too, you know, too much of it. Um, it I mean, it, it, it has a negative impact on your energy levels, essentially. So really try and reduce the caffeine levels back, and 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 feel how tired your body is, and therefore, you know, be able to bring it back to a point where you can keep your energy levels up naturally with maybe just a, you know one or two coffees a day, rather than like the six to eight that most people drink these days. Yeah, one of the things I've been doing too is entering into my diet is. Um, Co- coconut oil in my coffee, just kind of yeah. blending that up, and I'm finding that that's giving me a nice sustained uh, energy throughout the day. Yeah, no, it will do. So you know, coconut oil has become a really popular addition to people's diets, and it's it's packed full of really really good fats. Um, and it, it, there is a little calorie punch to it as well, obviously because it's an oil. So there are some yep. you know there's some calories in there too. But it, it's a, it's a, you know it's a it's a good thing to incorporate, and um, you know fat fats are great. Um, they get a hard time because they're high in calories. But as long as your total calories are in the right zone, then you can have those you know you can have those fats, and and they make a, they make a, they make your diet balanced. Whereas if you cut them all out, then uh, it's going to have a negative impact on your hormone levels, your energy levels, everything. So fats are really important for a lot of things. Um, and, um, they should, yeah, they should never be cut out of, of the diet, but you just need to keep them at a point where you can control your total calories for the day, essentially. Yeah. I've noticed a, uh, a nice increase in, uh, my skin. It's softer. Yeah. It's more supple. It's not as, as dry. So it's been a nice, uh, a nice addition to the diet, not only from, uh, from an energy standpoint, but also from, uh, skin. Definitely. Well, David, thank you very much for joining us today. I want uh, to give the audience an opportunity to get a hold of you and see some of the stuff that you're doing because they have the opportunity to work with you even though they are not a Hollywood superstar. Absolutely, yes. I've been offering the online training for about four years now, and and it's become really, really successful. And uh, some of the best results I've ever achieved have actually been through an online platform. And these these, these guys and girls have got 
you know they haven't got the chefs they haven't got this you know hollywood budgets they're just hard working you know hard working people that are motivated they've got huge amounts of willpower and for me it's the most exciting side of my business now and if you want to find out more information on that side of things you can look at my website which is www.davidkingsbury.co.uk um, or you could also reach me on instagram which is at, um, hashtag team kingsbury or at team kingsbury um, and then also Twitter, which is at David Kingsbury and any one of those places. If you've got any questions you, you'd like me to answer, feel free to send them and I'll get them answered. And uh, yeah, just you know, check out the plans and, and check out all the brilliant free content I've got on my blog as well. That is awesome. David, thank you so much. And next time you run into that other Thor, Chris, whatever his name yeah. is, <laughs> tell him that uh, the real Thor from uh, the U.S. Uh, said hello. I'll, I'll give him an email. I'll tell him I left to change his name. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as those movies came out, people were like, oh, did you name yourself after? Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. come on. Chris, you're yeah. killing me. Yeah, I know. Exactly. All right. Well, David, thank you very much. And I Brilliant. Look, for, look forward to having you back on the show. Thanks. Fantastic. No, I really appreciate it, Thor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening today. I really do appreciate your time, and I hope you found today's show valuable. If you would like to receive these shows automatically to your phone or to your computer, simply go to iTunes and subscribe. After listening to several of the shows, if you're so inclined, please leave us a five-star rating as this helps us reach additional people and spread the message. If you're truly committed to taking your life to the next level and doing whatever it takes to become a peak performer, but something's holding you back, something is blocking your way, and you just can't seem to figure out what it is, send me an email to info at thorconklin.com and I'd be more than happy to get on the phone with you. We'll schedule a 15-minute discovery call. No obligation, no cost. I absolutely love to hear from the listeners and if there's something I can do to help, I'd be more than happy to do that. Also, if you found something of great interest in today's show and you want to share that with your friends and family, simply go to my Facebook page, Thor Conklin, click on the episode, hit the share button and share it on your page. You can follow me at Twitter at Thor Conklin. The website is thorconklin.com. We're constantly adding new free resources, discussing additional tricks, tips, tools, and strategies on how to be a peak performer. Remember, I try to keep these episodes short so you can listen to them during dot time, doing other things, commuting, driving, walking, working out. Decide to be a peak performer in all that you do. And until tomorrow, have an absolutely amazing day. 